Hey Mike, hello, uh, Bram here from Drum Team Pro. So I tuned my 12 inch tom to an F in the second octave. So that's uh, the fundamental tone. And that's about uh, 70, 87 and a half hertz. Now the thing is, how low you can tune a drum is depending on the tension of the heads. So when the heads are at their minimum tension, like to the point where they're too slack, the lug pitch you'll measure then determines how low you can tune it. That's, that's just an indication, okay, that's the pitch the head can have when it's reasonably tensioned. Below that it's gonna wobble, it's gonna be too slack, it's gonna sound like a tub without any resonance to it. So um, you can't tune below that point. So any fundamental tones you can create within the limits of the tensioning range of your heads are possible. But what physically limits them is the point where one of both heads of your drum is going to be too slack, either one of both heads is going to be too tight. And when it's too tight, you are going to choke your head. And what happens there is that it's, it's a, synthetic, uh, a synthetic material, so it won't be able to um, move freely anymore because it's going to be too stiff. Um, and at that point, you won't uh, have enough emphasis on the lower frequency. So at some point when you start choking your head, it's going to, during the decay of the drum, it's quickly uh, going to start resonate in a mode uh, that has an emphasis on the higher order overtones and you will deform the timbre a bit. It will get out of balance and you'll hear the higher frequencies a lot. So um, just think of it if you, if you tune a small drum to a high pitch, it will sound quite balanced, but if you tune a very high drum, a very large diameter drum to a high pitch, you will feel it's gonna start choke, like having a choked sound. And that's because how the head behaves, the modes, how they uh, vibrate. That's a bit the physics of it, but basically just remember how low you can go or how high you can go while tuning your drum depends on the tension of the head. Um, just to let you know, so this is tuned to a um, F in the second octave, and I found I find that for for my musical needs and so on, the limits of the tuning range of this drum because it sounds a bit forced um, to me. It's too slack. You you'll hear that there is a kind of vibrato in it, if you wish, that comes right after the attack, where you know you feel the heads uh, when they're trying to sink. Um, there's a, a wobble in the sound, uh, li like, you know, like, I don't know, flappering, if that's a word in English, but like, you know, when the wings of a bird start to move quickly or so, it's a whoa, whoa, like that kind of vibration you hear, you will hear that in the sound just because the head is too slack to have a stable resonance. Um, now, those heads are tuned to 150 hertz. So they, have, they are almost equal heads. This one is a bit thicker than that one. So that means like this head can be tuned lower um, and the, the thinner head will wobble a bit more. That's a resonance head. You'll hear the difference, right? Now, um, another thing that, that we'll have here is that um, if I would start tuning to the same tone with a lower better head tension and a higher resonant head tension, for example, I will push that better head into the range where it's really too slack. So maybe the, the point where a 12 inch drum head of this kind of thickness and, and build, um, maybe around 120 um, hertz lug pitch, it wouldn't resonate at all anymore. There's just not sufficient tension on it to resonate. Um, so you may be able to tune your drum with both heads uh, to the same pitch to a low note, but you won't be able to tune the heads further apart, you know? So at the lower extremes of your uh, tuning range, for those fundamental tones, you won't have that much choice how far you tune the heads apart. So how that tone is created for that diameter um, is really, you know, limited. You, you, while you are more, if you're more in the center of your drum's tonal tuning range, you will be able to reach the same fundamental tone at the center of that tuning range 
with many different tuning approaches, like with one head super high, the other super low, equal tension and anything in between. That's the principle to take away here. For a 12 inch diameter tom, typically around 100, 110 ish hertz, you'll have a natural sounding tone with enough body and fullness to it. That still allows you to, um, to be reached in many different ways. So, so at that point, you'll have a lot of room to play with different head tensions for that same fundamental tone. So you can affect the, the dynamics of the decay. Uh, you can affect the, the feel, the timbre, all those things um, by tuning the heads further apart or closer together. But at a very low tone like that F at 87 Hz for this diameter with those heads, you just don't have those tuning options. And that's something you have to discover, you have to get acquainted with the tuning range of your instrument and you know with those principles and those values they just give you an indication of how it's tuned, it's a measure um, to reproduce your sound and um, those are like GPS coordinates, they describe your sound, if you get lost you can always get back to it and um, yeah it's, it's also of course very handy for clearing your head. Overall, I hope this information helps a bit. I wrote it by email as well, but maybe just demonstrating this on a drum helps. Okay, bye-bye.